Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. After some bicycle trips in different countries, I think it's the best time to show you what I bring with me when I'm traveling abroad by plane. This was my backpack for my last bicycle trip. I uh, traveled with my girlfriend last week by bicycle. It was her first bicycle trip and uh, if you want to see that, make sure you have subscribed to my channel. So let's talk about this backpack and what uh, camping gear I uh, uh, took with me when I'm traveling aboard by plane. Uh, this is a regular backpack, it's 30 liter backpack from Decathlon and as, as you can see has a lot of small pockets, some straps here and right here as well. So let's describe a little bit this gear. I will start with my shoes, these are A6 tray running shoes. Uh, it was my only pair of shoes in this trip. One pair of shoes, the good shoes are enough. There I had my long pants and uh, a good uh, high gloves windstopper with a hood and my stay groovy cap. Uh, these clothes were on me uh, inside of the plan. So these clothes with the shoes weren't inside of the backpack. Okay, now it's time to see what other bags, uh, what kind of bags I had outside of the backpack. Because you saw that uh, they, there were a lot of bags outside of the backpack, inside of the pockets or uh, with that straps okay this is my tent it's inside of the the dry bag it's a nature hike cloud up to ten for two persons it's enough for two persons but if you have bags you don't have enough space for bags inside of the, the tent you have to leave your bags outside of the tent but you have that cover and it's okay if even if it's uh, a rainy day uh, if it's just one person you have enough space for your bags inside so my tent really really compressed as you can see it's really light and yeah then I have my uh, tent poles and tent pegs uh, I will show you my uh, tent pegs are not so sharp you just have to you know take care because you can have some problems if are too sharp you can choose some plastic packs or uh, other packs that are not sharp they are like pretty flat so it's your option but so far I haven't uh, had any problem with this kind of packs this is my windshield for my camping stove you are gonna see inside of the backpack my camping burner and uh, the camping cooking set. This was my um, uh, sleeping bag. It's Aegis Max uh, sleep ultra light sleeping bag. It's for temperature around 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. It's pretty good in the summer, also late spring or uh, early early autumn depends on the country for sure but it's really uh, ultra light it's really uh, light it's really easy small and so on it's pretty good it's goose down uh, so yeah pretty good quality then I had this uh, uh, bike pannier it's pretty good for uh, uh, for food we have a small uh, pocket here for another um, another bottle of water uh, and inside of this I had my flip-flops okay so this this uh, 
uh, this bag was in front of the the pannier in so in, sorry in front of the bag so yeah it was really helpful I took this uh, drone uh, in my hand when I uh, when I was in the airport and when I was in an airplane and so on it's not a problem because it's it's pretty sensitive it's not so uh, you know it's a drone so you just have to take care of the drone so it's pretty good to have always the drone in your in your hand uh, it's a DJI Mavic Mini 1 as you can see so yeah uh, this drone was in, on, in my hand uh, and it's I don't know uh, this is my camera gear with uh, another GoPro another two GoPro cameras this is optional everything is optional I think I mean you can change some some things but the, this is just optional but I really like to record some good quality videos I think <laughs> This was another uh, bag for uh, our bicycle. Right here I had my phone. It's really good for navigation. You can put your phone here and you can uh, watch the, uh, the route. It's pretty good. Inside of this I had my uh, wallet and also uh, this kind of things. It's a uh, Camping fork, you know, I have fork here, it's a uh, knife, yeah, spoon and so on. I had uh, some uh, uh, lights, see, pretty good light. Okay, here some small tools, screwdrivers and yeah, okay. Uh, this is a gas adapter, it's also optional because uh, you know you are not allowed to take a gas stove with you inside of the airplane, it, only if it's empty, but if it's empty it's not gonna work for a burner. So this adapter is also for uh, that kind of uh, um, stoves that are not like a camping stove, like, like spray, something like that. And you can update that so it's optional but I it's pretty small so you can take it maybe you are not gonna find that kind of uh, stove that you want I will put a, a image right here with that kind of stove and right here with the other kind of stove that you can use when you have this adapter so normal one and second one yeah I have here two mirrors really useful when you are traveling everywhere <laughs> okay and here I have a lot of straps uh, because uh, I don't have enough space for my gear in in a classic pannier so I have to take a backpack and we are when you are have a backpack I don't really like to carry uh, my backpack uh, uh, in <laughs> you know on my back okay I don't want to use my bag so I use my rear rack and I took these straps to uh, secure my backpack on that rear rack and also some lights for bicycle and yeah this is now it's empty and here I have everything with my wallet also my camera this camera uh, it's recording right now it's my brand new GoPro Hero 11 my main camera I have also a second camera a GoPro Hero 6 inside of the uh, backpack so I have two cameras with extra batteries and drone and I think it's pretty good for this kind of backpack okay so I finished with everything outside of the backpack let's see what I have inside of my backpack I think you know right now because I didn't show you any kind of clothes and let's see right now so this is my backpack right now let's see what I have inside first of all it's a hygiene bag with alcohol uh, shampoo showering gel uh, uh, 
solar protection and so on hand cream okay this is optional as well you can carry carry much more than this or anything or I don't know um, okay so hygiene bag first this is my uh, Patagonia down jacket it's pretty good because I use it only one night uh, in this trip but wasn't like totally necessary but it's really good to have a down jacket every time everywhere okay uh, it's pretty light as you can see and uh, yeah it's pretty pretty good I always have a down jacket my advice let's continue I have also a spare tube okay so this was my um, <laughs> uh, cooking uh, set, camping set. It's pretty small but really good as well because we had some warm food when we wanted, also warm tea and so on. We just bought a, a gas stove in uh, from that uh, from a really big city and then you have everything because you are allowed to take this kind of pots uh, Yeah, you know uh, Inside of the airport airplane. Yeah, like a carry-on bag Right here I have the burner also pretty small. This is burner, okay so burner camping Set camping cooking set by a, a gas stove from a city and you are ready to cook right here in a small uh, po uh, pocket I have uh, this plastic uh, tools for uh, extracting the tube when we have when you have a flat tire also I have right here my passport it's inside of this pocket my uh, ID card in, in it's inside of the wallet so inside of that uh, bag always have your passport and ID card or other documents separately so if you have a problem just if you are gonna lose a thing you're not gonna lose the both of them okay also some plastic bags for uh, garbage when we are when we can and uh, this is just uh, small repel patches these are small repair patches for you know when you have a flat top but also so we had a, a extra tube and also patches which is really great This is a Hagwell's hoodie fleece. It was a extra layer. This is the shorts for a bicycle. You know that kind of shorts for the bicycle. Long leggings. Uh, I I took these leggings for. Uh, the, the tent I mean when I was in, inside of the tent I wore these uh, uh, leggings okay underwears socks this is the nature high inflatable pillow really small you can use also the uh, bags or the cover from the from the sleeping bag you can put something inside some clothes and you have a <laughs> uh, you have a pillow so uh, this is the inflatable mat mattress pretty light pretty small really good really comfy A pair of shorts, towel, uh, 
this is a bicycle pump it's really useful because we had uh, extra two batches and with this pump you can have a flat tire everywhere and just you're gonna continue your trip also sunglasses bicycle and uh, some electronics I have a power bank this is my second camera a GoPro as well some extra batteries right here for that camera and this camera as well charging cables and this is the charging uh, device with a lot of USB ports yeah I think uh, this was everything also I have a small pocket right here and I have some uh, wipes wet wipes and classic wipes yeah this was everything I guess for this kind of backpack for this kind of space I think it's pretty good you can see I had a lot of uh, items inside of the bag so yeah I'm pretty pretty happy with this backpack and it was really cheap about 14 euros I hope you'll find this video really useful I'm sure you can learn something and it's uh, I really recommend you to share this video with your family and friends you can see some uh, items you can uh, have an idea about what kind of things are allowed and not allowed inside of the airport and inside of the airplane you can find a detailed list in the video description with every item uh, from here you can see there everything and have an idea you can leave the comment section if you have any other uh, questions for uh, uh, these items or for everything make sure you have subscribed to the channel if you want to see where we used uh, these items and this camping gear and see you sometimes on the road bye